So now let's see how we can add a spinner to our progress bar. And to do this, we're only going to need three lines of code. So we can see two variables here on lines four and five. And on line four, this variable, the string, the characters in it, this is what's going to be used within our spinner. Now down on line seven, the way that our spinner works with this kind of nested grouping of variables is this is going to iterate through each and every time we print a new progress bar within the terminal. And it's going to reference a different character within that string. So now if we take a look at the placement of this inside of our file, we can see that those two variables are up here on lines 8 and 9, and then down here on line 30 within our printf statement, we can see the nested variable right here. So now we're going to need one additional kind of grouping of code, and that's this conditional statement down here. We're going to need to apply this within our while loop, and the reason for this has to do with this ending character over here. So every time we're printing a new progress bar, when we get it 100%, depending on which character we actually leave off, Fawn. we'll be left on the tail end over here. And if we understand what the hashtag means within our progress bar, this indicates the percentage that we completed. So at 100%, we would expect to see hashtags all the way through. Now, the way that this conditional statement reads, it basically says, look, when current is equal to 100, so basically when we're at 100%, then we're going to change that variable, that string, to just equal a hashtag. So let's actually come over to our script, and if we go down to the while loop down here, we can see it right here. Alright, so there's one other thing that we're adjusting within here, and this is just for development reasons, so we're going to use our local track file, and again, this just enables us to control the progress of our progress bar. All right, And the same principle applies, we're simply just going off of a line count, so if we kind of illustrate this inside the terminal, so over here, let's first run the script. Let's see what that progress bar looks like. All right, so every second within the terminal, as we're going through that loop, we're printing a new progress bar. We can actually see this better now that we're using a spinner. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to redirect those lines into the file. So let me pull this down here a little bit so we can see both. We're going to do that with echo, so we're going to echo, and first we'll echo one, two, three, four, five, actually we'll do six, got a little happy with the keys there, all right, we'll redirect that into the file count, okay, and we can see it update right here, again, every second, and now let's add in the rest of the lines within here, let's put us at 100% just so that we can verify that we took care of this last character over here, so now I'll echo, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, and we're going to need to append this time and to count and at a hundred percent we can see that we did take care of that character. So now let's see how we can add kind of like a little flair to our progress bar, right? So we're going to do this two ways. First we're going to change the characters that we're going to define for our spinner. And then we're also going to add some color to our hashtag, which signifies what's completed. So now I pulled out that completed variable from our printf statement. And you can see over here, we're kind of encapsulating it with some characters, right? So this will add some color to those hashtags. And then over here, we're going to remove it. And then we pulled out our nested variable. Again, that variable is used to reference the characters in that string. We pulled that out and we basically just replaced this with a variable, okay? So the reason we pulled this out is because we don't want the color to actually go onto our spinner until we're actually completed, right? So if we come down here to the conditional statement that's in our while loop, we can see that, you know, if current is equal to 100%, so if we're at 100%, then we're gonna add some color and that's to that hashtag else we're not going to add any color and we're simply just going to reference those characters. Okay, so if we come over to our script, we'll be able to see the placement of that code once again. So here we can see it over here. Up the very top, we can see that the different characters that we defined for our spinner. And then down the very bottom, we can see our conditional statement. Okay, so just on another note before we actually run this, 
I did provide some hyperlinks on my site. You can get to that through the description. So that way there, if you want to change the characters that you're going to put for your spinner, you can actually do that. All right, so now to illustrate this, so if we come over here, let's run the script. Let's take a look, see how it looks. All right, so there's our spinner. Looks kind of cool. And now let's add in some characters. Once again, we do this by redirecting some lines into the file. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. I'll put this into count. Okay, so that looks really, really nice. And now let's complete it just to verify that everything looks good at 100%. So we'll do six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, and we need to append this into count. Nice.